Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. How are you? Happy Friday. I hope you guys are having an amazing start to your weekend. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a triple Ipsy unboxing. So I have the three boxes, baggies here. This right here is the Ipsy Glam Bag, retails for $12 a month. We have the Glam Bag Plus, it retails for $25 a month. Then we have the Glam Bag Ultimate, which retails for $50 a month. I always say this, but I do pay for these on my own. Ipsy does not send them over. Okay, so first up, we have the Ipsy Glam Bag. This right here, like I mentioned, is $12 a month. I will say for the past few months, the glam bag was amazing. Um, and I think it's just great that it's literally $12. You get to try it a bunch of products for a pretty affordable price tag. Here is what the bag looks like for this month. It's just giving me like Harry Potter vibes. I, I personally love it. So it's yellow on this side and then burgundy on this side. Just like perfect full little bag. Um, the first thing that I see in here is from... Pacifica and this is the desert sunset matte blush and bronzer. This is a full size So yeah, occasionally we will actually get full size products in this $12 bag, which is amazing Like last time we got a full size Ofra highlighter. This looks beautiful. I have to say gorgeous packaging We get like I said a blush and a bronzer and they look super super nice Wow, and they feel amazing as well. I'm so impressed. This looks good. This looks good. We have a winner we get the bronzer swatched on top and right underneath it is the blush. I have some lip product swatches down there so just don't pay attention. But yeah, they swatched really nicely. A little bit powdery but not necessarily like cheap feeling at all. I think they're going to build up amazingly on the skin. I cannot wait to use this and the compact is adorable. Okay, so far the bag is pretty good. The next thing that's included in here is the Juliet Has a Gun um, perfume I want to say. Yes, the Juliet Has a Gun line is so good. I've received a few of the Julia Has a Gun perfumes in like the Ipsy subscription bags and I was always very happy with them. Let's smell this one. Oh my goodness. This is so good. It smells pretty different than anything that I own, but it smells, oh my goodness. But it's giving me such happy like feelings, you know what I mean? It says here, an immaculate scent that fits like a second skin, the perfect fusion of body and soul. <sighs> I think I need to have this in the full size. It's a super unique scent. I think a lot of you guys would love that. I'm, I'm, oh my goodness. The next thing that's included in here is from Tarte. Okay, this bag is bomb. This is the Big Ego Mascara, just a small little size. I think I've tried this. I don't remember though. It's possible. So basically the wand looks like the better than mascara wand which i love i've gone through a few full sizes of those um so yeah this has pretty much the same vibe um it's a natural bristled wand it is the type to give you a nice amount of length and of volume i love the packaging of this mascara it's very very cute um the next thing that's included in here is this this is the real her confidence in my glow highlighter i know the real her brand is pretty popular for their highlighters i think yeah, this is gorgeous. Look at this color, it's so pretty. Definitely has a very, very stiff feel and it doesn't like it doesn't have any smoothness to it. I don't like the consistency, but the color looks nice and it's also very PC. I don't know, I think it's the type to show texture on the skin. I don't know. Here you guys can see what it looks like. So it is a gorgeous color and it swatches well. I guess the true test will see how it looks on like the skin, but based on just like Feeling it, it doesn't feel the best, but swatching it, it definitely swatches better than it feels kind of thing. And then again, here's the packaging, it's very pretty. And then here's what it looks like on the inside. Okay, and then the final thing that's included in the bag is this, and this is the Mael Shadow. I love when they put the little bubble wrap on these little guys, it's just so cute. Here's what the shadow looks like, it's a gorgeous pinky shade. Ooh, I like the packaging. Pretty nice, and I think this is a full size. Here you guys can see what it looks like. So I guess pretty similar to the highlighter, but definitely has more of like a pinkiness to it. The highlighter has more of like a champagne-iness to it. And then here is what the actual product looks like. Very pretty. And then that's the inside. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That was everything that was included in the Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of September. Absolutely amazing. I think based on how well these were doing the past few months, if I had to choose one, I would choose this. And normally I would choose the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, which is the $25 box, but this bag has been kicking butt lately. I love it. I've been just so happy with it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Now let me share with you guys everything that I received in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So yes, like I mentioned, this one right here retails for $25 every single month. With this one, I feel like it's usually pretty, pretty good. But sometimes we'll have those moments where it's like, oh, you could have done better, you know? So hopefully it's gonna be good this time around. Here's what it looks like on the inside and yeah. Okay, so it's interesting though because last month, <laughs> last month, basically the way it came was only with the bag and it came in an envelope, it didn't come in a box. So I don't know, I thought that was interesting that they 
uh, put a box and a bag this time. But yeah, most of the items are out of the bag. I'll put this in and then we'll get started. So the first thing that's included in here is the Ilamasca Hydra Veil Hydrating Gel. Here is what it looks like. I think that we received either this or something very similar to this in Ipsy months ago or in BoxyCharm. It definitely is ringing a bell, but here's what it looks like. The packaging is gorgeous. Yeah, I, it's ringing a bell for sure. Whoa, it is gooey, jelly, jiggly vibes. You have to see that. <laughs> you guys can see such a gooeyness. It's like not even like spilling out because it's such a like goo, you know, but it's really cool. The consistency feels pretty cool. Very nice, very cooling. I don't necessarily use a, a lot of like gel like products for my skin, but I actually want to see how this is going to work out because I like the texture. It's kind of interesting. It seems like it's fun. So wait, let me see if we got the little um, pamphlet this time. Yes, we did. But there are no prices on it. I don't understand what the reasoning is behind that. Like one week we'll get the prices, the next week we won't. I don't know. But yeah, here is the full first full-size product. We do get five full-size products in this bag. Then we get the go-to fancy face nourishing oil cleanser. I've never heard of this brand. This brand is cruelty-free, which I think is amazing. I'm actually almost finished with my, what's it called, fresh oil. Um, so this one is a could not have come at a more perfect time. It, here's what it looks like. It looks amazing It's kind of giving me like color pop packaging vibes a luxurious and practical cleansing oil delivering the nourished soft clean skin We all know and deserve. Yes uh, Let's see what this feels like. I do like to remove my makeup with either the pharmacy cleansing balm with like an oil Okay, this is nice it smells like the spa. It smells pretty good. I like it. I'm gonna put this in my bathroom right away. And it also comes with a really cute small cloth. It's so cute. Just the presentation is 10 out of 10. The next thing that's included in here is this. And this right here is the Space Case Quad. I know that we received their highlighters in the past. I didn't even know that they make palettes. Wow, really nice. Wow. This looks gorgeous. So we basically get four metallic shades in here. So the type that you can kind of swipe on and go. You know about that kind of life. You guys can see one, two, three, four. I do like the tones. Definitely more of a cooler tone palette, but also like a nice, easy, everyday kind of palette. The next item that's included in here is this. This is the Stars Skin Foamy Peeling Puff. That is so cool. It's basically like a sheet mask, but what are you? Please explain yourself. So we get two in here. It's basically the firming biocellulose face mask. I've never tried anything like this. I've tried regular traditional like masks, but not this. It kind of foams up and then you kind of have to massage the product into the skin and then wash it off. Very interesting. It looks like it's gonna be fun to use. Maybe I'll use it tonight after I take off my makeup and then that's pretty much it. <laughs> Wait, no, there's one more thing in here. Okay, fine. This right here is from Wonder Beauty, and this is the Highline Liquid Liner, a full-size black liquid liner in the shade Runway. So yeah, I think it's a black. It's sealed. I'm not going to open it up because I'm actually currently using a few other liners. Yeah, I've been kind of getting into it just a little bit, um, and I want to kind of finish those first before I open up a new one. So either I'll keep this for myself or give it to my mother, but I, it's exciting because the Wonder Beauty brand is sold on Sephora, and it's a pretty solid brand. So I'll tell you guys honestly, oh, and this is the bag for this month. I'll tell you guys honestly, I think this bag was not their best. If I had to choose either this one or the Ipsy Glam bag, the $12 one, I would definitely go with that one for this month. Um, I know that in the past months, they used to like kick butt with these bags where you kind of opened it up and you're kind of like, oh my God. And then look at the next thing and you're like, oh my God. Like every single item that you opened, you were just like fascinated with. With this, we got some products that I was fascinated with and then products I was kind of like, oh, I hear where you're coming from, but... Not really. So yeah, in my opinion, definitely not the best month, but okay, like it was okay. Now let me share with you guys everything that was included in the Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate. This right here retails for $50 a month. I already unboxed this in my Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate video versus BoxyCharm Luxe video that I did on a Wednesday. So if you watch that, it's gonna be repetitive. Therefore, I'm just gonna run through this. This right here actually was a little bit better than the BoxyCharm Luxe for the month. So they did pretty well with this one. Let me show you guys the products and then I'll see you guys at the end. Okay, so here's a little bit of an overview of what we got in the Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate. We got two pixie liners, a brown and a black one, a Moda blush brush, a tomato serum, a Duce blush in a nice peachy shade, a lip balm in a, ch in a cherry color. We have the Hello, what is this called? 
Hello Organic um, face masks as well. It came three in a pack. We also got the Huda Beauty Hydrating um, Primer, which I'm so excited about. We also got the Zoeva Caramel Palette. And then here's what the palette looks like. We mainly get mattes and a few metallics. I love the color story. It's like simple, but you could do a lot with this, you know? We also got a Julep Concealer, which looks pretty promising. This mask from this brand, the Collagen and Elastin Mask. A deluxe size of the Kenzie Life Beat Body Lotion, which smells amazing. And then this was a major highlight of the box. This is the Beauty Bento Kaja, Kaja um, Eyeshadow Trio. Here are the three shades. It's somewhere on my desk. Honestly, this box is empty, but the product is somewhere on my desk. I cannot find it because it's so messy. But if you watched my previous video, you saw the swatches and they were absolutely stunning. Definitely one of their best better ultimate box because I was pretty happy with this one. Okay, so now kind of comparing all of them, seeing which one won. I think the winner for sure was the $12 bag, then the $50 bag, then the $25 bag. So if you are wanting to sign up for one, I would definitely say the $12 one maybe to start off with because they've been hustling with that one. That's a really, really solid one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what, what products, well, got. Um, so yeah, definitely let me know what products you guys got on your Ipsy bags for this month. Let me know if you were happy or dissatisfied. I have a giveaway running on my BoxyCharm video versus Ipsy video. If you guys want to check that out, I'll have a link down below. But yeah, I'm looking forward to reading your comments and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.